Hello and welcome to Sleuth. Shall we get started? All players, please, close your eyes. It is one o'clock. If you are in the living room at one o'clock open your eyes. Look for other players who have opened their eyes, these people are also in the living room at this time. Take the one o'clock living room cards and show them to all players to see what potential weapon was found. All the shown cards will show the same potential weapon but there will be a card for each location. Take the card that corresponds to the living room and put it in your hand along with your one o'clock living room location card. Discard all the other potential weapon cards found at this location which do not match the living room. Everyone, who has their eyes open, close them now. It is one o'clock. If you are in the kitchen at one o'clock open your eyes. Look for other players who have opened their eyes, these people are also in the kitchen at this time. Take the one o'clock kitchen cards and show them to all players to see what potential weapon was found. Take the card that corresponds to the kitchen and put it in your hand. Discard the other cards. Everyone who has their eyes open. Close them now. It is one o'clock. If you are in the bedroom at one o'clock open your eyes. Look for other players who have opened their eyes, these people are also in the bedroom at this time. Take the one o'clock bedroom cards and show them to all players to see what potential weapon was found. Take the card that corresponds to the bedroom and put it in your hand. Discard the other cards. Everyone, who has their eyes open, close them now. It is one o'clock. If you are in the office at one o'clock open your eyes. Look for other players who have opened their eyes, these people are also in the office at this time. Take the one o'clock office cards and show them to all players to see what potential weapon was found. Take the card that corresponds to the office and put it in your hand. Discard the other cards. Please finish your actions, everyone is about to wake up in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Everyone, open your eyes and mingle. Please pause me now until 1 o'clock mingling is complete and you are ready to start 2 o'clock. The time is now, 1.55, 1.56, 1.57, 1.58. One fifty nine. All players, please close your eyes. It is two o'clock. If you are in the living room at two o'clock, open your eyes. Take the two o'clock living room cards and show them to all players in the living room. Take the two o'clock living room card that corresponds to the living room and put it in your hand. 
Discard the other two o'clock living room cards. Everyone, who has their eyes open, close them now. It is two o'clock. If you are in the kitchen at two o'clock open your eyes. Take the two o'clock kitchen cards and show them to all players in the kitchen. Take the two o'clock kitchen card that corresponds to the kitchen and put it in your hand. Discard the other two o'clock kitchen cards. Everyone, who has their eyes open, close them now. It is two o'clock. If you are in the bedroom at two o'clock open your eyes. Take the two o'clock bedroom cards and show them to all players in the bedroom. Take the two o'clock bedroom card that corresponds to the bedroom and put it in your hand. Discard the other two o'clock bedroom cards. Everyone, who has their eyes open, close them now. It is two o'clock. If you are in the office at two o'clock open your eyes. Take the two o'clock office cards and show them to all players in the office. Take the two o'clock office card that corresponds to the office and put it in your hand. Discard the other two o'clock office cards. Please finish your actions, everyone is about to wake up in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Everyone, open your eyes and mingle. Please pause me now until 2 o'clock mingling is complete and you are ready to start 3 o'clock. The time is now, 2.55, 2.56, 2.57, 2.58, 2.59. All players, please, close your eyes. It is three o'clock. If you are in the living room at three o'clock open your eyes. Take the three o'clock living room cards and put the one that corresponds to the living room in your heart. Discard the others. Everyone, who has their eyes open, close them now. It is three o'clock. If you are in the kitchen at three o'clock open your eyes. Take the three o'clock kitchen cards and put the one that corresponds to the kitchen in your heart. Discard the others.
everyone, who has their eyes open. Close them now. It is three o'clock. If you are in the bedroom at three o'clock open your eyes. Take the three o'clock bedroom cards and put the one that corresponds to the bedroom in your heart. Discard the others. Everyone, who has their eyes open, close them now. It is three o'clock. If you are in the office at three o'clock open your eyes. Take the three o'clock office cards and put the one that corresponds to the office in your heart. Discard the others. Please finish your actions, everyone is about to wake up in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Everyone, open your eyes and mingle. Please pause me now until 3 o'clock mingling is complete and you are ready to start 4 o'clock. The time is now, 3.55, 3.56, 3.57. Three fifty nine. All players, please close your eyes. It is four o'clock. If you are in the living room, take the living room cards and put the one that corresponds to the living room in your heart. Discard the others. Everyone, who has their eyes open, close them now. It is four o'clock. If you are in the kitchen take the kitchen cards and put the one that corresponds to the kitchen in your heart. Discard the others. Everyone, who has their eyes open, close them now. It is four o'clock. If you are in the bedroom take the bedroom cards and put the one that corresponds to the bedroom in your heart. Discard the others. Everyone, who has their eyes open, close them now. It is four o'clock. If you are in the office take the office cards and put the one that corresponds to the office in your heart. Discard the others. Please finish your actions, everyone is about to wake up in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Everyone, open your eyes and mingle. 
Please pause me now until 4 o'clock mingling is complete and you are ready to start 5 o'clock. The time is now, 4.55, 4.56, All players, please, close your eyes. It is 5 o'clock in the living room. Hopefully you know what to do by now. Everyone, who has their eyes open, close them now. It is five o'clock in the kitchen. You know the drill. Everyone, who has their eyes open, close them now. It is five o'clock in the bedroom. Just do it. Everyone, who has their eyes open, close them now. It is five o'clock in the office. If you don't know what to do, you aren't likely to cut it as a good sleuth. Please finish your actions, everyone is about to wake up in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Everyone, open your eyes and mingle. Please pause me now until 5 o'clock mingling is complete and you are ready to reveal the corpse time and location. The time is now, 5.55, 5.56, 5.57. 558, 559. It is 6 o'clock and a servant has discovered the corpse of the host, Lord Elgin. And so the plot thickens. Shuffle the death time cards. Shuffle the death location cards. Now draw the top card from each of these decks to determine the location of the corpse and the time of death. Next, take one of the poison cards randomly and add to it a number of stunned silence cards until there is one card for each player. Distribute one card to each player randomly. Remember the poison card, distributed this way, has no effect. The poison card only has effect when drawn from another player. Now the clock starts ticking. The non-culprit players win if any one of them can make a correct accusation on their turn. A correct accusation consists of naming all the suspects that were present in the death location at the death time and the naming the murder weapon that was present in the death location at the death time. The list of suspects could be none in the case of a suicide. The list of suspects could be a single culprit. Or the list of suspects could be multiple culprits. Since each location always has only one potential murder weapon, a correct accusation will always include only one murder weapon. If the accusation does not list all the culprits involved, it is an incorrect accusation. The culprit players win if any one of them can get the location cards of all culprits and the murder weapon card for the specific death time. 
In such a case the culprit is able to destroy the evidence and the culprits win. The culprits also win if all the non-culprits have been poisoned. Remember, unlike non-culprits, culprits are never affected by the poison card even if they get it from another player. If a non-culprit is poisoned, turn all of the player's cards face down, and distribute them randomly between the remaining players. The poisoned non-culprit is out of the game. Good luck sleuths. I am done with my guidance, you can turn me off.